Hello friends, welcome to Unfold Data Science. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this video, we will try to understand how to implement count vectorizer and term frequency inverse document frequency in Python. So these are two very famous feature extraction techniques from text which I was explaining in my last video the theoretical aspect of it. So if you have not watched that video, I advise you to watch that as well. And let us see how that is implemented in Python. So as you can see on my screen right here, I am importing something called count vectorizer from sklearn.featureextraction. Okay. So I import this module and then I have two different sentences. You can think it as of two different PDF files. Okay. The PDF file 1 has this text. Hello, my name is Aman. I am a data scientist. The PDF file 2 has you are watching unfold data science. Okay. So these are kept in two different variable text and text 1. Okay. What I am doing next is I am initializing an object of that class count vectorizer and I am fitting this vectorizer on text. So in text I have this content. What happens when I do that? So let me run this block, run this block and when I run this block what you can see is all the words in this document have been assigned a number here. Okay? To make it more simple for you I had put that in an excel and pasted the screenshot here. If you see the screenshot. The, in this vector, the 0th word is am, the first word is aman, the second word is and, the third word is data. So like that, this is called a word vector. Okay? So you are, all the unique words from this text file, text data has come and created a vector. Obviously, some cleaning has happened. For example, you cannot see the word a, you cannot see the word i. So some cleaning has happened in background by this package. But more or less, all the words are here, whichever was there in the document. Now what to do with this vector? So I have another document here, text1. Okay? Now let me try and fit that vector on that text1. So if you can see here, I am fitting that vector on text1. Okay? And the output which you see here tells you that all the numbers are 0 apart from 0, 1, 2, 3, the third index. So what is in third index? In the third index, we have the word data. So what it is saying is the word data is present in the other document. So as you can see here, the word data is present in this document and hence the index for data has become 1, rest all are 0. Okay? If there are common words between this and this, then those also will become 1. For example, if I write here Aman, then I expect the index number for Aman, which is index number 1 to be 1 as well, which is happening now when I rerun this. Okay? And if you come here and write Aman twice, I expect this count to be present there. Okay? So if you come here, it becomes 2. So I am sure you would have understood how count vectorizer works. It just creates a word vector and then when you supply a new document, it will count the presence of all the words in that vector in the new document. Okay? But as I told, this has some shortcomings, this has some limitations. Number one is it does not take into account the presence of the document in other words while training the model. Okay? In, in simple way we can say that this does not put a differentiator between new documents. Okay? So what I mean by that is if this document talks about cricket and this document talks about football then this model will not be very helpful in this case. Why it will not be helpful? Because we want to highlight the words which are unique in each document. And that is where TF IDF helps us. So TF stands for term frequency, IDF stands for inverse document frequency. Purpose of TF IDF is to highlight words which are frequent in a document but not across documents. Okay? So let us see what is the meaning of this. Now I have three documents here. So separated by comma, you can consider that to be a document. Okay? So Aman is a data scientist in India, document 1. Second document is, this is unfold data science. And third document is, data science is a promising career. Okay? Now I take three documents. I have imported TF IDF vectorizer from SQL and feature extraction. And I train a TF vec uh, IDF vectorizer model. Okay? When, when I do that, what you can see is, I am printing here the IDF values. So as I told in the theoretical part of the video, the IDF values are very important here. Term frequency is nothing but counting the frequency of word in each document. But IDF is there to suppress the effect of 
words which are occurring in all the documents now come here and see which is the word which is occurring in all the document if you can see the word data this is in document 1 data is in document 2 and data is in document 3 so these all these documents have the word data so if i want to separate the documents if i want to understand the underlying pattern of the document then this word data is not going to help me much and that is the reason you see the corresponding index value for idf is 1 for the word data so why i am saying this is word number 3 I have also put here the uh, excel representation of the vector. So if you can see here the vocab, it has also created a vector like this and I have put the graphical representation here where you can see 0, 1, 2, the second index wise the second index is data. Okay, And if you see the idea values, the lowest idea value you can see at second index which is 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay? One more word is there which is showing low index, let us see what is that word. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, word 5. What is 5? Is. So, what is the frequency of the word is? Is is here, is is here and is is here. That is the reason. Words which are present in all the documents, IDF values for those words will be minimum. And hence, the total TF IDF values will also come low for those documents. And that is how we try to balance the unique words in the document should highlight and come up. Okay. Let us see with some examples. Now this is the vector that we have got. What I am doing here is I am taking the first document out from that list. Okay, So if you say text 0 then this, this sentence will come out. Now I am saying text 0 I take that sentence as out and now I am fitting the above built model. So what is my above built model? Vectorizer. On vectorizer I am just fitting this document Okay, text as input. When I do that what you can see here is some of the values are absolutely 0. 0. So, what is the index number? The index number is 0. Uh, the index number is 1. So, what is the word at index number 1? Carrier. So, why is this value 0 is? You cannot see the word carrier in this document. Okay, And hence the term frequency is 0. Similarly, the inverse document frequency whatever value might be for the words when the term frequency is 0 the value will be 0. Okay. Similarly, we can see some other 0 value. So, let us count what is the index number. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, sixth index is also 0. So, what is sixth index promising? Can you see the word, word promising here? No. That is the reason why this index is also 0. Okay. So, all this is fitting on the previously trained TFIDF vector and trying to get a TFIDF value. Now, let us see how it changes if I take the second uh, sentence from that uh, corpus, right? So, what is the second sentence? Data science is a promising career. Index wise second, it is a third sentence. Data science is a promising career. Now, when I train my model, when I fit this into my TF idea vector, let us compare how the results are. In this, the very first thing is becoming a 0. So, what is the index 1? Aman. So, Aman word is not here in this. Hence, it is becoming 0. Okay. And also what else is becoming 0? 0, 1, 2, 3. So, third index is not here. What is third? In. So, in word is not here, hence it is becoming 0. Now, if you see the word promising is uniquely present in this uh, sentence only. So, what I expect TFIDF to do is, I expect TFIDF to highlight this word promising. Okay, Because this is uniquely present in this document. Now, what is the index number of promising? 6 come here let us see what is the value of 6 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 if you see the value of 6 is among the highest in this vector okay and this index number 1 is also highest because carrier is also a unique word in this document only hence the word carrier and the word promising is coming highest in this document so i'm sure you would have understood how tfidf works and what is the usability of tfidf what I will do, I will take this file and upload in my Google Drive so that you can access it. Previously also I was not able to upload few files, I will recheck and upload all the files. Apart from that, if you have any doubts, any questions, just post me in comment. I will see you all in the next video with an upcoming, uh, you know, interesting use case on text analytics. Till then, stay safe and take care.